Good morning, guys. So today is Friday, the 24th of September, which means today is Heritage Day. And yeah, I am back home from Mexico. And I know some of you guys were expecting this like upload to be my Mexico vlog upload, but it's not. Um, I can explain. The Mexico vlog is taking me a bit longer to edit because, first of all, I'm trying very hard to make it like a very good video. Second of all, every time I try and video it, every time I try and edit the video, I do burst into tears because I'm so sad that my holiday is over. And yeah, I've been struggling a little bit now that I'm back in Washington DC, but I'm trying to stay positive. And so today I wanted to celebrate Heritage Day. Usually if I was at home, like at school, maybe I'd be like paying five rand to wear civvies or something. And so it wasn't really a big celebration for me ever, but now that I'm like not home, I want to celebrate Heritage Day and the only way I could think about doing that so far away from home is going out and buying some South African snacks. So this might be a hit or miss because I only found one place in the whole of Washington DC that sells anything close to like South African snacks. So yeah, this video might be a big fat fail, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I think it will be really amazing for me to go out buy some stuff that I'm like used to eating at home. I told I went live this morning on TikTok and like I got ready on TikTok and I told all my followers on TikTok or all the viewers watching the live if I can only find one snack today I want it to be the buttermilk Omar Rusks. If you guys know you guys know I don't even have to explain it I don't feel the need. This is how I look today. I like it I like the hair I redid my nails to like this pretty natural pink color. We've got my jewelry on, I have my Pinto necklace, my Gabby necklace that Palesa got me, and just a little necklace. And then the rings are Etsy, eBay, on this side, eBay, don't know, Macy's. And the earrings are eBay, these little ones are from my gran, and the top ones are from Amazon. Okay, so I just arrived at the place that's supposed to have the South African snacks. It was actually not a long ride in the bus. Usually uh, stuff takes longer than that, but here it is. The place is called Rodman's Discount Food and Drug. So I don't know how good it's going to be, but I'm going to go inside now and have a look. Kind of expensive which it's shocking to me now to pay this price for these specific things but obviously i understand that these are probably these are imported from south africa so that probably bumps up the price when i walked into the store like today i have really not been like in a good mood i feel like i always say that i'm sorry i sound so pessimistic but yeah i just wasn't feeling very good today 
and I just had the worst feeling like I'm gonna walk in here and they're not gonna have anything and I, so I started walking around and I'm like okay looks like a normal grocery store kind of there was a lot of foreign people working in the store which I thought was a good sign like okay foreign people foreign items but yeah as I was walking around I was like there's nothing I can't find anything and then I turned a corner and I was like I saw this one box of Omar Rusks three seed Omar Rusks and that was it on the shelf and I was like oh Okay, so there's literally nothing. But then it turns out I was just literally looking in the wrong place. There was an aisle for like pastas and stuff. And then literally right above it, it said international food. And I just like didn't think. So I walked through this aisle. There was like a whole counter of like, not counter. There was a whole shelf of stuff. And so I picked up a few bits and pieces. So we're going to start with literally this one thing I said I was the most excited for. <laughs> I got Omar Buttermilk Rusks. I love these rusks. These remind me of my mom. She always eats these. So, first thing we got Omar Rusks. <laughs> we got Viltong people. We got Drubos. So, this I was very excited for. These are like just the normal little pieces. Oh, beef raised with vegetarian diet. Okay, and this is like the sticks of like Drubos. Then we got Mari biscuits. My brother and I love Mari, to eat Mari biscuits with our tea. I got these red label lemon cream biscuits. There was obviously a couple of things at the store that I didn't buy. Like there was Robertson spices. Obviously I don't need that. I am so excited for this. So made in South Africa. Very excited to have Milo. Because I don't know, I think I've told you guys this before. Like I even have Nesquik here. But there's something about the american chocolate that just doesn't taste right to me and then the last two things i got was a flake and a crunchy this is all the stuff i got um i paid almost 50 dollars for this which is like 600 rand which to me is a lot like that seems like a lot for like omar rusks two things of biscuits two things of biltong two chocolates and a milo but i understand the import taxes plus at this point i would pay any amount of money just to have this stuff i was getting so emotional in the store and i was like looking at all this stuff which is sorry don't look at my nails i was getting so emotional in the store and i was like standing there and looking at all this stuff because it just felt so I don't know. I don't know what it felt like. I was feeling very nostalgic. So I think I'm going to make a cup of five roses and then I think I'm going to make a cup of Milo and then come back and try everything because the Omar Rusks and the Mari Biscuits, I need to have tea with them. I don't know if you can see the steam here, but I've got a cup of five roses tea here and I've got a cup of Milo here. So I made those two beverages and now I have a little plate here. I'm going to take out all my stuff that I'm going to eat and put it on the plate because I'm not an animal. I'm so excited. Oh, shut up. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning because, I mean, I didn't know if this was going to work out and if I was going to get anything, but I was like, if I end up at that store and I get a lot of stuff, like, I'm not going to want to be like full. I'm going to want to be hungry so I can eat. So it's like... What is the time? I can't check on my phone right now, but I think it's like half past two or something. And I haven't eaten yet, so I'm getting a little bit of a headache, not gonna lie. Hmm. It doesn't smell like more of a good. Maybe I'm just forgetting how stuff smells. Anyways. It's not the smell, it's the taste. So don't let's not let me not get ahead of myself. And then the lemon biscuits. If you guys know what, if, well, you guys know what I'm smelling right now, that lemony smell. Uh, okay, don't eat it yet. Come on, Gabby. Okay, there's a little bit. It's just a biscuit. And then we have the flake and the crunchy. I have to eat over, you, we, I need to eat this over a plate. Don't ask why, because you know. Okay, I think I should maybe first try the biltongs, because it'll be like main meal, and then all the rest of the stuff will be dessert. So let's try the through a horse first oh yeah. okay oh 
it's not that much it's kind of sad what in the world there's like five pieces in here like five sticks oh you know what it smells like you know what this smells like this smells like um Mmm. Mmm. Okay, first of all, I like my Drovors to be a little bit on the harder side. This is a little bit soft, but it's really good. Mmm. I can't explain the smell. Oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like chutney. So here we have the Drovors. Okay. Okay, so first thing on our list was the Drovor. I'm going to give everything a, a rating out of 10. These I'll give, <clears throat> I want to say 8. But like I really do prefer like my Drovor, like the sticks to be like more hard. And these were like very soft. So I'll give these a 7.5 out of 10. Next we have the Biltong, like the little pieces of Biltong. This seems like a bit more than that. That's one thing that's disappointing about that is like there's literally five sticks and I have four sticks of Biltong left. Okay. I like the packaging so that I can like reseal it. Oh, that smells good. It all smells so like sweet. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Ah, oh. South African family recipe proudly made in the USA. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to be harsh just because, like, I read, like, Made in the USA and I was like, ugh. But I'll be honest. It's a good build song. Oh, okay, I'm back. I actually just got a call from my host mom. She thought that she left her straightener on in her bathroom, so I had to go and check that. But anyways, I'm back. Where were we? The build song. I wanted to be like, ugh, it's Made in the USA, but whatever. It's good build song. I've had a lot better, literally from, I, I can see right now, like at home, we have this little st store place here in my house. There's a little store outside of the pick and pay and the biltong that that guy sells, I can't even begin to describe it. It is the most amazing biltong ever. So it's not that, but it's good. It's good for now. I give this also a seven and a half out of ten so the two biltongs get a seven and a half out of ten how much were these this is why this is why this um this this is why my receipt like this is why the purchases are so expensive these were twelve dollars each $12 for that? $12 for five sticks of biltong? Okay, so good, but I will never buy this again. Literally at home for, what, uh, $12, like 150 rand. For 150 rand, I could get so much better than this. So now we are going to try the biscuits. First, we're going to do the rusk in the five roses tea. So here's my tea. I also drink my tea quite with a lot of milk. Don't, don't come for me, okay? That's just how I like it. So we'll do a dunk. Don't start crying. That's so stupid. Do not start crying. That is so stupid, Gabby. Okay, so the rusks taste exactly the same. Oh, I'm being so dramatic right now. The rusks taste perfect. They are perfect. And this is like the one thing that I really wanted to get at the place. Oh, man. The, oh, man. Oh, man. The Omar oh rusks, the buttermilk Omar oh rusks, 10 out of 10. These are 
so good and i'm actually really angry because i only picked up one box and they also had the condensed milk ones which are also very good but i was like let me just get one of these but now i'm angry because for the price of those two biltongs i could have actually gotten two of these because these weren't expensive these were four dollars this was four dollars and this was 12. this is literally 12 dollars for five pieces of Dravos. This is like a packet of rusks for 50 Rand. I don't know how much rusks I have at home, but that's cheap for me now. The next thing we're going to do is the Mari biscuit. So I've got a Mari biscuit on my plate. We're going to dunk it into the tea. Let it go. Now we wait. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. oh man oh man that is so good i don't i don't i used to think i thought that um mario biscuits took a bit longer to get soft because like that first one i put it in and it was oh look it's falling apart oh where's the other piece mayday mayday ah oh there it is You cannot beat that. You cannot beat Mari biscuits soaked in five roses. The Mari biscuits are 10 out of 10. I'm like, it's funny because I'm eating a little bit of everything right now. But like when I'm at the end of the video, I'm going to be like, okay, hey guys, bye. See you on Sunday. I'm going to turn the camera off. I don't know if you guys know that show, The Nanny. But I have been obsessed with watching that show. Like people are like, oh, friends, oh, the office. I'm like, The Nanny the nanny like she is iconic so i've been watching it and like falling asleep to it on my laptop i'm literally gonna open up my laptop put on the nanny on hbo and watch the nanny and like obliterate these snacks so next we have the lemon cream biscuit i know this is gonna taste exactly the same because of the smell like if you guys know i can't even explain what i'm smelling to you right now but if you guys go to spa or pick and pay or pep or wherever the f you get your Wherever you get your lemon cream... Oh my goodness, man. Wherever you get your lemon cream biscuits from, and you open it and you go... Yeah, that is literally what I'm smelling right now. So we're going to take a bite. The pieces are falling off, but I haven't gotten to the lemony bit, which is the best part. Why are you grumbling? I am literally eating right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I told you guys I didn't dunk these ones. I just tried it. Not a dunking biscuit for me, but 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. These are amazing. Next, we're going to do the flake. So let me just get my plate here before I have to start vacuuming up chocolate crumbs. Okay. Oh man, it's starting already. Hmm. So this is something, the flake and the crunchy, is something that I can't really tell if there's a difference between the taste here and the taste back home. Because the last time I had a crunchy or a flake was probably in matric. And that was a long time ago, guys. That was like two years ago. So the flake, I'm going to give a six. Like, am I going to eat the whole thing after I finish the video and get a stomach ache because I'm going to eat too much stuff? Yeah. Obviously. This is what I'm excited for because I really love crunchies. <sighs> Please. Oh man. Ah! 
Mm -hmm. Tastes like a crunchy. Oh man, I failed. I try to eat the chocolate around. Try to eat the chocolate around the honeycomb stuff, and it broke. I guess I'm just out of practice because I used to be very good at that. Focus on the gold nuggets. Focus. What the hell? The crunchy is good, so I'll give it an eight. I like it, but like. I've never really been one to like have much of a sweet tooth so now it's like not something I'd like even if I was back home I wouldn't often buy crunchies because or any type of like chocolate bars because I don't really have a sweet tooth I'm really one more for like savory stuff so the crunchy is an 8 out of 10 and the last thing we have is the Milo I forgot to put sugar in that. I don't know why it doesn't taste good. I, I get it doesn't have sugar in it, but like I know the Milo is good because don't question me for doing that because I bought the Milo and I'm the only one who's going to be drinking it. But like when I do this, mm, it's good. It tastes just like Milo. But that doesn't taste good. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the milk. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. It tastes like... It tastes like a dog. It says, and there's no other way to explain that. That just doesn't taste good. Maybe it was the way I made it. Hopefully it was my fault and... It must have been Milo because the dry the dry Milo powder tastes good, which is the most important part is the Milo. So I guess I, I must have done something. I don't know. I heated up the. I make it with just milk. I don't know about you guys, but I just make my Milo with milk, and that's what I did. And I just didn't add in sugar, which that was my fault. I forgot. But yeah, I honestly think I'm gonna remake the Milo at a later stage because I just think something went wrong. Because that yeah, that doesn't taste like Milo, but this like the dry powder tastes like Milo, which means it should taste like Milo but it doesn't okay guys so that's the end of the video thank you guys for coming with me today and spending heritage day with me it's very difficult being away from home and like especially on a day like heritage day it's it's a South African holiday they don't have it here so no one's really celebrating here but it helped that you guys were able to spend it with me keep me company while I ate all my South African snacks I love you guys so 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 much and I'll see you guys next Sunday bye